Neurofibromatosis. Type 1 neurofibromatosis is a multi-systemic multi disease. Neurofibromatosis type 1, also called von Recklinghausen's disease, or peripheral neurofibromatosis. It is an autosomal dominant disorder, a disease or disorder that is inherited genetically. The entity is common and affects 1 in 4,000 individuals. It is one of the most common dominantly inherited gene disorders in humans. Patients with NF1 develop Schwann cell tumors. The eighth nerve tumor is a non-cancerous benign tumor that originates in the cells that wrap around the auditory nerve cells. It causes neurofibromas and pigmentation abnormalities. Dysplasia is a disruption of tissue during embryonic development. In most cases, neurofibromatosis is genetic. If either parent has neurofibromatosis, there is a 50% chance the child will inherit the disorder. In about 50% of cases, there is a spontaneous mutation in gene number 17. The genetic material that causes the change is found either in the sperm or the egg. There is no way to predict who will get neurofibromatosis. One of the first symptoms to appear is cafe au lait spots. These spots are tan and light brown and usually 5 to 15 millimeters in diameter. Nearly all patients with NF1 will display these spots. Freckling also appears in the genital area and the auxiliary area. Possible NF manifestations include an optic glioma, a benign tumor of an optic nerve. Optic gliomas are derived from glial cells and are classified as low-grade astrocytomas. An astrocytoma is a type of glioma in which the brain tumor arises from the brain tissue itself. Astrocytomas are gliomas that resemble astrocytes, the supportive cells that encircle and protect the nerve cells or neurons in the brain. Some astrocytomas are extremely aggressive. They cause symptoms both by pressure and by destruction of the normal optic nerve tissue. They may result in protosis, which is a protrusion of the eye, and progressive loss of vision. Optic gliomas are associated with neurofibromatosis. The Lish nodule is a pigmented harmototus nevus. It is a type of benign tumor affecting the iris and named after Austrian ophthalmologist Carl Lisch, who first recognized them in 1937. These nodules are found in neurofibromatosis type 1 and present in greater than 94% of the patients over the age of 6. They are clear, yellow-brown, oval to round, dome-shaped papules that project from the surface of the iris. These nodules typically do not affect vision, but are very useful in diagnosis. Kiffy scoliosis describes an abnormal curvature of the spine in both the coronal and sagittal plane. It is a combination of kyphosis, a condition of curvature of the upper thoracic spine, and scoliosis, which means crooked, is a medical condition in which a person's spine is curved from side to side and shaped like an S and may also be rotated. To adults, this can be very painful. It is an abnormal lateral curvature of the spine. On an x-ray, the spine of an individual with typical scoliosis may look more like an S or a C than a straight line. A benign stromal tumor. Gastric stromal tumors are connective tissues in, of organs found in loose connective tissue an abnormal mass of tissue as a result of a neoplasia. A neoplasia is Greek and it means an abnormal peripheration of cells. The growth of this clone of cells exceeds and is uncoordinated with that of normal tissues around it. It usually causes a lump or tumor of the stomach. This is the tumor of the mass duodenum, which is the upper portion of your small intestines. The myelin sheath is an insulating layer that forms around nerves, including those in the brain and spinal cord. It is made up of protein and fatty substances. The purpose of the myelin sheath is to allow rapid and efficient transmission of impulses along nerve cells. The neurofibrosarcoma is a type of tumor combining characteristics of neurofibroma and fibrosarcoma. Neurofibrosarcoma, also known as peripheral nerve sheath tumor, malignant schwamoma, malignant nerve sheath tumor, and neurogic sarcoma, is a type of cancer that causes malignant tumors in the surrounding peripheral nerves. The neurofibrosarcoma is an advanced stage of a neurofibroma or neurofibromatosis. 5% of patients with NF will develop a neurofibrosarcoma at some point in their life. Patients who suffer from NF have a 100,000-fold increase in likelihood of developing neurofibrosarcoma when compared to the general public. 
It is often found in the arms and legs, but in severe cases has been recorded as spreading to the lungs. Soft tissue sarcomas have been linked within families, so it is hypothesized that neurofibrosarcoma may be genetic. Cafe au lait spots are hyperpigmented spots on the body. Excess pigmentation, especially of the skin. Lesions that may vary in color from light brown to dark brown. Plexiform neurofibromas is an extensive interdigitation network of tumor parts. These may represent as soft, subtle tissue enlargement or a large patch of cutaneous hyperpigmentation, which is a hemihypertrophy overgrowth of one side of the body or a part. It is a non-tumorous enlargement of an organ or a cell tissue as a result of an increase in the size rather than the number of constituent cells affecting the skin. They tend to be difficult to remove and may regrow. Surgical treatment and follow-up requires a multidisciplinary team that includes surgeons, radiologists, and oncologists. Tibial dysplasia is a deformity involving excessive bowing or curvature of the tibia, commonly known as the shin bone. If tibia dysplasia is, is suspected and confirmed through x-ray, a child should be referred to an orthopedist or an orthopedic care direct towards the prevention of management of fractures. <clears throat> Neurofibroma is a tumor that occur occurs along the course of the peripheral nerves consisting of fibroblasts, a satellite or spindle-shaped cell tissue capable of forming collagen fibers. These tumors can grow in multitudes and can form anywhere above or below the skin. They can grow on organs, connective tissues, invade the brain, causing headaches, affecting vision, hearing, and or speech. They can invade the nerves of the spine, causing paralysis. For some, the cosmetic issues alone can affect a daily quality of life. A neoplasia is a tumor and it's a new and abnormal growth, specifically one in which cell multiplication is uncontrolled and progressive. Neoplasms may be benign or malignant. Hyperplasia is an excess of normal tissue. Specifically, it is the increased cell production in normal tissue and or an organ, and it may be a sign of precancerous changes. Multi Here's an example of multiple neurofibromas. Historically, neurofibromatosis is well known because of the elephant man, Joseph Carey Merrick, who was a medical curiosity in London in the 1880s. His disfiguring dis deformity of the head and extremity involvement and his vertebrae de deformities made him famous. And these deformities were described later in a play, a film, and several books. More, recent, more recently, Tibbles and Cohen have considered that Merrick had protus syndrome rather than neurofibromatosis. However, the association of the elephant man with NF1 brought the condition needed attention. And this is the elephant man in a study of human dignity. Neurofibromatosis is a progressive disorder with an increase in number and size of cutaneous and subcutaneous neurofibromas found just beneath the skin, both with cosmetic disfigurement and various types of functional compromise, including pain. Neurofibromas are moderately firm, benign, non-encapsulated tumors that result from the disorderly peripheration of Schwann cells, the large nucleated cells whose cell membrane spirally enwraps the axons of the myelin sheath that facilitates the transmission of nerve impulses in the peripheral nervous system. Affected portions of the nerve fibers can occur anywhere from the dorsal spinal roots and spinal ganglia which is a group of nerve cell bodies located outside the central nervous system. They can occur within the brain or spinal cord, including cranial nerves. It can lead to neurological problems such as weakness or paralysis and other autonomic dysfunctions. It can impair speech, vision, hearing, and equilibrium. NF-related deaths include hypercephalia, which is an abnormal expansion of ventricles within the brain that is caused by an accumulation of cerebral spinal fluid. It causes seizures, gastrointestinal hemorrhage, and spinal cord encroachment. NF is a serious disorder attached with a social stigma and with a clear-cut life compromise in life expectancy, and there is no cure. <clears throat>